Hey all, welcome to Travel Coast, the second location of the Mamakula quest line. So here we continue finding more plate pieces, starting with the speed portion. Let's talk to the chief. Okay, we just have to help the chief and then he will help us get the plate pieces. So where is the chief? I guess we need to find him with the yellow arrow. So merchant in that hut will have this bone for a ritual. We need to bring that. There is somebody else with the yellow arrow too. So let's see what he wants. Bones. Basket of fish. Okay. So something from that merchant and a basket of fish. So the location it's uh, 614 tiles long and will cost around 2.8 million energy. It also includes a feather part. Quite some rubies and sapphires here. So that's nice. Well, since that guy won't let us proceed for now, we have to look somewhere else. Okay, let's go up here. We needed something from that house. Bone for the ritual. Uh, I don't remember exactly, but let's check out the heart. Mm, some lines here. And this guy needs some bone. Somebody else was offering bones, but needed a basket of food or something. So this is like jumping from one person to another and completing tasks for all of them we have the chief standing right on the shore i wonder what he wants so let us try each house one by one to see if what we need is in those houses Two blankets. Nobody asked for blankets, but somebody else might. So this is going to be confusing. I'm going to try as much as I can. And if I can't, I'm, I'll just need to go through all the houses again. So, tide controlling machine should be underwater. We need to fix that one. There is a whole underground village that is probably drowned by the tides being out of control. So, we need to fix it. Where is that machine? Somewhere nearby, I can see pipes. Okay, 
Okay, we have a feather part here, which I think I will check out later. Right now I have to fix the machine. So many levers. Let's see. Rotate the pipes. So looks like we will have to avoid the broken parts. And the lever is just change the pipes in that respective position so from right upper one can again turn down turn right and next intersection turn down I think that will be just one more lever So that's done. Mm, the wall, the last thing to do, don't forget this. Okay, left side looks right, right, left, right, left, so we are kind of going in a zigzag pattern and that's it. The last thing, the wall and there we go. So yeah, a different kind of pipeline puzzles and having fun. This time looks uh, even bigger pipeline, but still it should not be hard figuring out, I mean avoiding the broken parts. Since we know which lever controls which pipe, it makes, it just makes it easy. If it was random then maybe more, more fun. So let's start with the exit, mm, lower one. Central one top. Mm. Now the lower one. Central upper, central lower. Yeah, pretty easy. One last. And the valve has been unlocked. There we go. I will do the feather part now. Some symbols associated with numbers I can see. Currently not sure what to do with those. So yellow, blue and green is the order. Okay, I think we have to step on those buttons. Yellow, blue and green. That built a bridge giving us access to the next island. I think we have something similar like we did above. Should have been something different, but that's fine. Looks like we have more such similar things.
Okay, let's see. Wow. <laughs> I did not even have to see what the solutions was. I simply stepped on the buttons in a random order without even realizing I'm stepping in them in the correct order. That order turned out to be correct and the bridge has already opened up. We don't even need to see what stone is below that too. Hmm. Uh, I'm not even sure if we stepped in the right order. But doesn't matter, the bridge has opened up. So let's continue. We have more sets of so paths and the buttons we have to step on. Two is yellow, one is pink, pink, yellow, red. Something is wrong because now I'm pretty sure I did not step on the buttons in the correct order but the bridge has still opened up so that's a mystery I think the developers have to solve but you as users whatever be the combination the bridge is opening and all good Green, blue and orange. Green, blue and orange. Mm, that seems to be the last island. Not the last, there is a lever on it. That I initially did not see because of the colors. So let's see what it does, uh, a bridge down the initial island and that is actually the final one, there the feather part is present. And there we have it, the last, I mean the first part of the feather of Mama Aquila. Do get these feathers because they do give an amazing equipment. Now time to go back. I don't have to walk back a lot because the feather was on an island that was nearer to the exit. So where were we, we were collecting, I mean we have first fixed up a machine that has drained up all the water and I think that has given us access to some more houses. Uh, the chief is standing on near the temple on top left, whom we will check out later. First I want to check a house which has been revealed after the drown I mean the water has subsided or something like that okay I'm not sure if this set was available earlier but I just saw it now so basket of fish for blankets we already went into the blankets house and it needed something starting with V Let's check out what the chief wants to say. The temple must be having the plate pieces. And he is letting us access the plate pieces already. He has disappeared so I think we can access the plate pieces. Even without helping the other people. I don't know if other people is optional or a part of quest. 
but uh, the main quest screen that only we said help the chief we have helped the chief and he has given us access to the temple so i think the outside villagers part that is optional one but i would still definitely do it so we have the first spirit piece from this location there are three in this one and all three of them are in this labyrinth that's the second one oh, one more on the left corner What I'm curious to find out is if the quest completes after this because the challenging part of bringing the items to the villagers remembering who needed what in which house that is more challenging and that should not be optional but let's see well the quest has completed but I'm anyway going to do those optional parts because they also have the remaining tiles and I do all the tiles as you may know. So let's go back. Basket of fish for blankets. Blankets for something starting with a V. And I don't know what other sequence it has. But I don't think anything in this part. Let me just check what we need from the blanket sky or wall. Vikuna. We have more people here. Mm. Far from llamas, yes, we can afford it expensive. Wine from the old innkeeper. I think this is the house. Earlier there was nobody with a yellow arrow inside. Now there might be, let's see. Actually, there was a guy. Uh, earlier he has now disappeared so we can simply get the wine from here and I think the sequence is pretty clear after this wine to the guy with the llamas he will give us some um, vikuna vikuna to person on the left then to the house with the blankets then to the merchant uh, and what not. So let's start with the fur from the Lamas, the Vikuna. Just tap them to convert into fur. go left not in that house we and he is needed by the blanket guy yes blanket sky so many blankets we need just two of them I think 
Yeah, the two red ones is what we need. Some more rubies and obsidian. Nice. Let's get the blankets back to somebody who requested it. Who is on this section itself? The other house here. Mm, not very much sure about the order after this. Basket of fish from the warehouse. Another obsidian. So all the obsidians here are locked up in this optional section. So if you are looking to do the obsidian vault, you also need to do this section. That's the third obsidian in fact. I thought it would be in some different hut. But doesn't matter, we have got it now. That's the basket of fish. Let's return it to somebody. Who is that somebody? I will have to find out. I'm not very much sure. the bone and i think the bone we are returning to the merchant that merchant will give us something which we have to take back outside and i don't really remember or was this the last one yeah i think this was the last one all we needed was the bone for this guy and those must be the last tiles. So thank you for watching. See you in the next location.